The Houthis won't stop attacking ships in the Red Sea, and there's a pile of evidence showing Iran doesn't really want them to. After lots of warnings to stop, the U.S. and U.K. started launching airstrikes on Houthi targets in Yemen on January 11th. The Houthis remain undeterred, though, and on the 24th, they attacked two U.S. flagged ships carrying cargo for the U.S. Department of Defense and the State Department. The Houthis launched three anti-ship missiles, but like most of the Houthis' other attacks, the U.S. Navy took out two of the threats with ease, and the third fell harmlessly into the water. The Houthis started this most recent wave of attacks on ships in the Red Sea after the war in Gaza broke out. The Houthis are an Iranian-backed terror group that came into power in Yemen in 2014. Iran supplies the Houthis with almost all of their weaponry, everything from rifles and RPGs to rockets, missiles, and drones. Iran routinely uses smugglers to transfer weapons to the Houthis. One recent operation to stop the transfer of arms to Yemen from Iran resulted in two U.S. Navy SEALs being lost at sea. But the seizure did provide evidence Iran is sending the Houthis more advanced weaponry. One analyst told the Wall Street Journal the Houthis now have the most lethal long-range strike capabilities of any Iranian terror proxy, and that Iran is essentially using the Houthis to test new weapons against Western targets. There is also evidence Houthi engineers are passing designs up the food chain as the Houthis and their benefactors learn and adapt their tactics based on the growing number of encounters with the U.S. and U.K. militaries. Iran also sent advisors from its Revolutionary Guard Corps and Hezbollah, another of its terror proxies in Lebanon, to help the Houthis in their effort to attack ships in the Red Sea. And in the coming weeks, those advisors may be teaching the Houthis how to use a spate of new unmanned aerial vehicles. Iranian state television aired this video showing delivery of a fleet of new UAVs. The domestically produced drones are said to be capable of performing different sorts of missions, from intelligence gathering to counter-electronic warfare and, of course, combat. The head of Iran's army said the drones are also upgraded with the latest, quote, self-protection navigation and smart precision strike systems, adding the new drones will definitely improve the combat power of the army's four branches. If recent history holds true, that means the Houthis' combat power is also going to be improved. For their part, the U.S. and U.K. say their militaries will keep hitting Houthi launch sites and weapons caches, but it's clear those strikes aren't stopping the attacks. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan is set to meet with China's foreign minister to discuss the strikes on Red Sea shipping lanes. There are concerns the conflict could kick off a wider regional war which could explain why neither the U.S. or U.K. are targeting the weapons suppliers, Iran, instead of the low-level users, the Houthis.